Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be making a tie-dye tumbler and I'm not using the supplies that you might think I'm going to use. And before I get started, I have to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Arteza. Arteza is a professional art supply company. They have everything ranging from mica powders to paints to markers to canvases, surfaces. They have it all. They have everything that you need to provide you with the best tools to make your most beautiful creation. I'm super excited to open these up and start using them. So with all of that being said, let's get started. So I chose six different marker colors for this tumbler, and I really wanted to make it as bright and neon as possible. So most of these are fluorescent. This is fluorescent peach, and then we have amethyst purple. Then this one is fluorescent blue. Whoops fluorescent yellow, fluorescent green, and fluorescent orange. So this is going to be a very bright neon like tumbler and I'm super excited about it. So the really cool thing about Arteza's markers, the acrylic markers, is that they dry super super fast and they don't have like a really strong odor. You won't get a headache while you are working with these acrylic markers. Also they're water based so if you mess up on this tumbler it's not going to be a big problem at all to just wipe it and start over so what you want to do first is shake up your marker and if it's the first time that you're using it you're going to want to pump it on a surface a hard surface until the ink starts to flow down through the marker so this one I had already done and this is the one I'm going to start with so let me show you like here on this blue one so see the tip of the marker is like a yellow color so this is my first time using this one, so shake it up, and then I am just going to pump it a few times on my table here. And you don't want to push super hard, but just push hard enough to where that tip of the marker is moving. And now you're going to start to see the ink flow down into the tip of the marker. And so now the marker has that ink in it, so now it's blue. I don't know if you can see from all the way back here, but here's the marker spot, and it is just a gorgeous fluorescent blue, so I'm really excited. So I'm starting with my pink, the fluorescent pink, and you just want to find the middle spot of your tumbler, or as close as you possibly can. So I found the middle spot, and I just put a little dot, and now you're going to want to kind of map out how your spiral around the tumbler is going to be. So I'm going to just go in with a very, very light hand and make some dashes and just do an entire spiral all the way around the cup so then I know where to put all of my marks. So now that I have kind of like a little map going here, I'm going to go in with these markers and start filling in the colors that I want.
So now that I have the pink on there, I'm going to go in with the purple next. And I'm going to shake it up really good. Right now that is yellow because I have not used it yet. And also something really cool about these markers is they come with replacement tips. So I thought that was really cool that there are replacement tips that are different shapes and sizes than this one I have currently. And so now that all of the ink got its way towards there, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with all of my pink. I'm just going to come out on the other side of it. And you can, you know, make them touch. You don't want them to be separated. You want everything to blend. Next up is the blue, and just keep on trucking doing that same exact pattern. So now I'm going to go in with this fluorescent yellow and everything that is white, I'm going to hit it with this yellow. So whenever it touches the blue, it's going to make a green tint and whenever it touches the pink, it's going to make an orange tint.
now we're here and what I'm gonna do now, even though everything you know on the cup is covered besides the bottom, um, I'm gonna go in with my fluorescent green and my fluorescent orange, shake them up real good. Um, and I'm gonna go in where I kind of blended those colors, like wherever the blue touches the yellow, it made kind of a green. I'm just gonna go in with my fluorescent green marker and kind of touch those up and make it a little bit brighter. And then where the yellow touches the pink and kind of makes an orange, I'm gonna do the same thing with this fluorescent orange. So now that all of this is covered, I'm going to pop her on the turner, do a couple coats of epoxy, or just one coat of epoxy, and then I will choose a decal. So the next day, and this has one coat of epoxy, and now I'm going to put a decal on it. I am choosing to do a water slide decal, and you can do a clear water slide on this um, because I am using an all black water slide. And I have it mirrored because um, if you guys have been here for a while, you know that I print my water sides mirrored and then I put them face down and slide them off like that. Um, so I didn't have to do anything like paint the water side or anything because it's black. It's going to show up perfectly fine on this tumbler. So let's go ahead and get that on. So I'm putting my water slide in this container of water. I got this at uh, Dollar General for a dollar. And um, it's really nice to have a huge thing for water slides like this. So if I'm doing a full sheet, then I'll have plenty of room. And I'm just gonna get my tumbler wet where I plan on putting the water slide decal and that makes it easier to apply it. And you'll know your water slide is ready when you can start peeling the backing off. And mine's not quite ready yet. This looks like it's ready to go now. So I am just going to lay it face down, line it up exactly how I want it. And then add a little bit of pressure and just slide that backing right off. And now I'm going to go in with my silicone squeegee, get it wet, and just swipe it all over this image. And that's just going to push out any trapped water bubbles or smooth out any wrinkles in the decal. And that's what we have, and I love it! And of course, I have your cup of positivity for the day. And today's cup of positivity is an arrow can only be shot by pulling it backward. So when life is dragging you back with difficulties, it means it's going to launch you into something great. And that was said by Paulo Coelho. And that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out Arteza's website. I have affiliate links in the description. I also have an affiliate link for UK. So definitely go check all of that out. They have some amazing products and I am just absolutely thrilled with their acrylic markers. I have some more goodies from them that I'm gonna be doing videos about. So um, stay tuned for that. A big thank you going out to Arteza for partnering with me on this video. And I can't wait to show you guys some other stuff that I've gotten from them. So if you guys have any questions at all, like always, please feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.